Welcome to another Diacom information session. This session is brought to you by Rinda Technologies and covers features of the Diacom Marine Diagnostic Software. These sessions are designed to give you a better understanding of the operation of the Diacom software. Thank you for watching. In this session, we will provide you with a program overview of Diacom. To connect Diacom to an engine, plug the Diacom cable into a USB port and then open Diacom. Click on the Choose System Type button. This brings up the System Type dialog box. To choose the correct type, you will need to know the manufacturer of the engine and control system you wish to communicate with. Selecting a system type is covered in depth in another video. For this video, we will choose Volvo Penta EGC CAN. A picture of the ECM for that system type will appear at the bottom left of the dialog box. You can click on the picture to enlarge it. A picture of the appropriate cable end and part number will be shown at the bottom right. You can click on that picture to enlarge it also. Connect the proper cable end to the Diacom cable and connect the cable to the engine you want to communicate with. Turn the ignition switch to the run position. Now click OK and Diacom will begin preliminary communications with the engine ECM. On certain engine types, the next step will be to choose the particular set of engine parameters you wish to view. Different engines will have different options. For now, we'll choose the engine data data set and then click OK. The list of parameters to be asked for is now displayed on the screen, but with no data. To begin asking the ECM for data, the link or communicate with engine button must be pressed. Live data from the ECM is now being displayed on the screen. At the bottom right side of the screen is a timer. It is based on your PC's clock and the timer runs anytime you are actively communicating with the ECM. If you hover over the timer, you can see the update rate for the requested data. In this case, the update rate is approximately 10 packets per second. A packet is the complete list of parameters on the screen. This means that all the data on the screen is being updated about 10 times per second. Moving left at the bottom of the screen, there is an area that lets you know if you are linked to the engine or not. Moving left again, there is an area that lets you know if diagnostic trouble codes have been found. Diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs, are read at different times on different ECMs. All the way to the left is an area that lets you know what engine system you selected and the data set option you are requesting from the ECM. At the top of the screen there are up to five tabs. The engine data tab is the tab where all the live data is shown and where data recordings are made. The graph tab is the tab where up to three parameters at a time can be graphed. To select parameters, click on the Select Parameters to Graph button. Now select three parameters. that you wish to view and click OK. The two buttons below the Select Parameters to Graph button control the amount of time the graph shows. The top button, Expand the Graph, is the Zoom In button 
and contract the graph button is the zoom out button. The current graph resolution is shown just below the buttons. The current resolution is 128 packets. This means that the last or most recent 128 packets are visible on the screen. This resolution can be varied from a minimum of 32 packets to a maximum of 1024 packets for live data. The next tab is the Codes tab. This is where all DTCs or Diagnostic Trouble Codes are displayed. DTCs are covered in a separate video. The next tab is the Test tab. All ECM output tests are conducted from this tab. To proceed with any ECM tests, communication with the ECM must be stopped. ECM output tests are covered in a separate video. The last tab is the System Information tab. It is not available on all ECMs. Where available, it shows information about the engine and the ECM. This information is static and only updates once each time the Communicate with ECM button is clicked to communicate with the ECM. Back on the ECM Data tab, you can choose to record the ECM data into a recording for viewing at a later time. To start a recording, click on the Record Live Data button. Recording live data with Diacom will be covered in another video. Just below the Record Live Data button is the Enlarge and ECM Parameter button. This function is used to enlarge ECM parameters to make them more visible. Clicking on this button turns the mouse pointer into a magnifying glass. Place the top of the magnifying glass handle on either the text or the data for the parameter or parameters that you want to enlarge and click. You must be connected to the ECM and communicating with it to see live data. So we'll communicate with the ECM. And now we're seeing live data from the ECM. If you hover over the gray area of a box and right click, you will see that there are other options that you can perform, such as show graph. This puts a live auto-ranging graph to the immediate right of the digital data box. Other right-click options include being able to hide the boxes while navigating to other tabs. If you hide the boxes and navigate to another tab, Clicking back on the ECM Data tab returns the boxes to their original position. Another right-click option is to close the boxes. All boxes can be resized using standard Windows procedures. The next option on the left side of the screen is the Open Service Manual button. 
You must stop communicating with the ECM by pushing the Disconnect from ECM button before you can open service manuals. Clicking the Open Service Manual button opens a Select Manufacturer dialog box. Volvo Penta, PleasureCraft Marine, and Enmar service information is automatically installed on the hard drive during program installation. To obtain service information from other manufacturers such as Mercury Marine, you will need to contact those manufacturers. Select a manufacturer and click OK. This opens up an Acrobat document with links to all the available service information for that manufacturer. Note, you must have either Acrobat or Acrobat Reader installed to view these documents. Acrobat Reader is a free program available at www.adobe.com. Click on the name of the document you wish to open. When you're done, you can either close or minimize the document to go back to Diacom. To view live data again, click on the Communicate with ECM button. To shut down Diacom, click on the Disconnect from ECM button and then click either the Exit button at the bottom left or click the Close Program button at the top right of the screen. Thank you for watching this edition of Rinda Technologies Diacom Marine Diagnostic Software Training.